hurts are facts from your past waiting to be healed. The fact is, you will never be free to live your life fully until the hurts are healed. Healing the hurts requires you to increase your awareness. Increasing your awareness is like opening the curtains where you can see and be seen beyond your comfort zone. The deeper your hurts, the better you will feel once healed. The healing process can initially make you feel like you don't know anything anymore. This is a full-blown surrender to what has finally come to a head and must be faced. So where do you start chipping away at these hurts? Start by writing down the hurts you can remember from your early life and continue writing from there onward. You don't have to figure them out yet. Just identify them and write them down. This process may go on for months before you start to reach an understanding as questions arise, like a conversation going on in your head in your attempt to figure it all out. This is when the five stages of grief come into play, starting with the first one, denial, clinging to a false reality. When denial fails to work, the second stage is anger. You become frustrated, asking yourself, why me? The third stage is bargaining, willing to make compromises to make everything right. When bargaining fails to work, comes the fourth stage, depression. This is the breakdown stage where all negotiations are off the table, bringing you to the fifth and final stage, acceptance. You have finally processed all your options and are now willing to do the work to heal those hurts. One by one, your hurts will be healed as you now know what it takes to heal them. This makes them easier and quicker to heal because you have mastered the process of healing them through all the stages of grief. To live a life that fulfills you requires that you know who you are. Hurts from the past that are not healed leave you with gaps in your life, like holes in Swiss cheese. Everything seems to be okay until you encounter one of those holes where you identify an emptiness. This life is filled with holes that require your attention in order to heal the unfinished business from your past. Some of these hurts occurred in this lifetime, while the deeper ones are repeats from past lives. Hurts from your past are like dragging an anchor throughout your life, pulling you down and making life hard. Resistance to facing these hurts is the only thing preventing you from healing them once and for all. So where do you start? Like I said earlier, you start by writing them down one by one. Keep doing this until you feel inclined to dig deeper into one of them. As you feel the effects of the one you selected, the five stages of grief will be activated. Once you arrive at acceptance, you will be capable of describing to yourself how that hurt made you feel. Having a realization about how that hurt made you feel is what will solve this mystery. From that realization, the action you decide to take will be obvious to you. Like breaking out of a fog, you will now have the power over that hurt because you will no longer be controlled by it. Tackling the first one will make resolving the others easier from the confidence you gain, not to mention the inner freedom that will return to you. How to Live a Guided Life, Meeting the Real You Be someone you would like to be, and this is from the guides. Why do you think people fail? at what they try to accomplish. 
or if they don't fail, they really didn't do it as well as they could have. Did they not love themselves enough to do the job correctly? Well, it's easy to say you should love yourself more. That's very superficial. We see it as something more elementary. We see that you don't respect yourself enough. If you respected yourself, you would never do just an adequate job at anything. When you don't have enough self-respect, you will fall into a life of good enough. Good enough is never good enough. If you have a passion for life and everything you do, you will never settle for good enough as it harms your self-respect. Could you love someone you didn't respect? Not likely. So what makes you think you could love yourself without self-respect? And this is from me, how it works. When you are fully immersed in the intensity of living your life, you don't think about any of this. In fact, it's not something you think about at all. You feel the urge. You step into it. And everything else takes care of itself. Everything becomes the byproduct of your actions, like respecting and loving yourself. Be someone you would like to be. Someone you like and respect. Honor that above everything else no matter what the obstacles are, as this guides you to someone you really like. And that would be you. And just remember, you have help. You are never alone and always being guided.